You guys hadn't seen this boat in a while. We got the Blackjack 42 on the block. All right, we're going to be putting the RC boat bits trim tabs on the 42. Okay, that should help keep this boat down in the straights. Okay, uh, this boat has a tendency at high, high speeds um, to flip, to flip. All right, so this should alleviate a lot of that problem. We also got a little goodie box to unbox here from Rob Warden. All right, so stick around, stick around. Big B here with Anklet RC. To it, you guys, let's get to it. All right, this boat's got a 4685 1350 kV brushless motor, 8S capable. That's a freaking oh, that thing's got some power, boys. 160 firma, all right, 160 firma, 8S capable, telemetry capable. All right, batteries in the in the sponsons there to help keep the CG down. All right, fifth scale servo, things a freaking blast to drive, you guys. I've had a freaking ball, it's tough. It's tougher than nails. I'm not even kidding. I've put this thing through the ringer, boys. I've put it through the ringer. Upgraded the strut. All right. Upgraded the flex cable, stuffing tube. I've blueprinted the sponsons. All right. Tried to blueprint the sponsons. Got a pretty decent ride with this boat, with the sponsons. I got a flat bottom strut there. So we're going to install these boat bits, trim tabs. All right. And I really didn't, wasn't planning on, I guess I should say, putting trim tabs on the boat. But. It should do this thing some justice, boys. So let's take a look at the RC Boat Bits trim tab here, okay? It's uh, it's all aluminum construction, okay? Black anodized aluminum. You've got one, two, three, four points of contact on the actual adjustment there, all right? Two grub screws to keep the piston in place. It's like a little piston that moves in and out of this... Uh, adjustment tube okay that's how you adjust the the ride all right like that uh, you got two mounting holes here for the back of the sponson all right you got this aluminum block that goes in the sponson to uh, reinforce it okay it's, it's got hardware included um, the bottom super flat super flat all right you got your hinge there all right you see how flat they made it Okay, that should be nice. That should hold this boat down. I think you guys will find what's in this box pretty interesting. That's why I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'll make it quick. Okay, I'll make it quick. I know you guys want to see the installation of the trim tabs. Check this out, you guys. Check this out. It's an insert for a propeller box. Okay, um, he had a hard time. I, wanted, I asked him uh, for uh, an 8th insert and a 3 16 insert okay so what he what he did he had a hard time with the pins breaking off for the eighth insert because they're so small so he actually put little drive dogs on there and i could stick a pin in in the freaking in the drive dog right there so it holds the propeller okay check this out now dude this is freaking nice man if you guys are interested in one of these uh Drop a comment, okay? Drop a comment, and I can get you his email address, all right? And uh, I'm sure he'll he'll help you out, man. He, he don't do it for business. It's kind of a hobby to him. But I gave him the dimensions for my box. Boom, okay? That is bad to the bone, y'all. Check it out, man. Oh, that's freaking cool, Rob. <laughs> I'm freaking stoked. <laughs> that beats the hell out of my box I made, huh? That's freaking cool, you guys. Oh, man, I should have done a whole separate video for this. Oh, I'm tickled to death, man. That's freaking awesome. Rob, I appreciate it, man. If you guys have anything you'd like to send to the channel, anything you make, old boats, old parts, motors, batteries, uh, etc., hey, hit me up in the email, and I could always use the help with the channel, okay? Got some Loctite Fun Tack. This is what you use to kind of hold, like, hang pictures on a wall with. I like to use that when I'm setting up hardware on my boats. A lot of my subscribers, you guys already know this, but uh, I use it on the back of my my trim tab. All right, I'll just kind of put a couple little thin pieces on the back of the trim tab or or strut rudder. I use it for everything, and it'll hold it in place. Okay, while you're getting it set up on your boat. 
All right, so I got the blue Loctite on my trim tab, kind of help keep it in place while I'm getting it set up. Um, I got my other one on already. It's already bolted up, so I want to try to match this one up to the other trim tab. Um, I don't want it lower than the bottom of the sponson. You know, I actually want it just like a like like a fraction of an inch higher than the sponson. If you're looking at it like this, it's going to be lower than the sponson. Alright, right there. Make sure it's lined up with the sponson. Make sure it's lined up with the sponson long ways. Alright, let's double check it here. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to take my scribe and mark out my hole. Alright. With these ABS and polycarbonate holes, when you go to drill it, a lot of times your drill bit will kind of slide everywhere. So I like to use a little bit of heat and kind of punch my hole. Alright, so geez, I see one hole. Might have to do one. I might have to do one and then do the other one. Alright, try to get it dead center of my mark. All right, that'll kind of let me drill my hole out a little bit easier, okay? All right, I'm gonna get a screw. Let's put the trim tab in and then we'll do the other side. All right, so I've got my holes drilled there. Uh, they look like they lined up pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, get some Loctite sealant. Okay, I got some clear Loctite marine sealant that I'm gonna use for uh, to seal it up. All right, and um, we'll put the screws in. The nice thing about these trim tabs is the block has threads in it so that makes it super freaking easy to install that's nice man that's nice and then you have nylon locking nuts to back it with okay like i said a thousandth of an inch higher than the bottom of the boat is okay you know um, i'd rather for my trim tab to be higher than the ride surface than lower than the ride surface it's going to create drag All right, just get your screws screwed in, then we'll put the, the distribution block on the inside of the boat there. You guys can't really see in here. I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. I got the trim tabs on the boat. Okay, now I've got to go through and take all these adjusters off, all right, and, um, and lock tight all the screws, okay? So if I had to recommend one thing, is to Loctite your nuts. Put a little bit of Loctite on all these nuts. Yes, they got nylon on them, but just the, the screws are a little short. All right, so it don't really even meet the, the nylon. So go ahead and put some blue Loctite on your grub screws here so they don't back out underway. All right, and Loctite those guys in. I'm also going to make sure all my screws are going in like this so it's easy to, to get to the... Uh, a nut driver. I'll show you what it looks like when it's all the way freaking done. But I got both of them installed. Boom! Huh? D-U-N done. Alright, I use Loctite Marine Adhesive to seal up the, the through hole. Alright? Um, I got Loctite on all of my, my hardware. Okay? So, uh, none of the screws back off. I got it set just maybe a thousandth of a freaking inch higher than my ride pads. All right, sorry about the terrible angle. This uh, boat has some overhang, so it's really hard to kind of show you the, the top side of this trim tabs, but they look legit, man. They look really nice on the boat. Um, I always told myself I would never put trim tabs on a catamaran, and here I am putting trim tabs on a freaking catamaran. Catamarans are usually tuned with weight distribution, you know, um, and strut adjustments, all right? Down angle lower strut will push the bow down kind of get the bow digging in a little bit with the weight forward in the boat should 
help keep the boat down you know uh i always said i wouldn't do this but here i am putting freaking trim tabs on my catamaran so but they turned out good man i really think it's going to be a great addition for this boat it's going to keep it down man from it's going to keep the boat from flipping you know uh you know, this boat's really wide it's really wide and it has a tendency like into the wind into the wind catching a little catching a little breeze and it'll kind of blow itself off the water all all catamarans will do that at high speeds you know uh my blackjack 24 that'll do it at high speeds it'll blow over like in a heartbeat okay but um i, I want to say thank you to mark's boat works he he actually uh sent me these trim tabs kind of donated them to the channel and uh, i really appreciate it man I i'll have the boat on the water here shortly okay we'll start doing some more runs with it uh yeah man so that's how you install rc boat bits trim tabs on a blackjack 42 okay uh i appreciate you guys watching the channel man i, I really do thanks for watching big b with ironclad rc channel where we tinker test and tune everything rc we'll see you guys next time full trigger nice